doing today? It's Mark, and I'm here with the third part in our uh, video, ongoing video series of how to create a blog. Uh, so, so far we went to GoDaddy and registered a domain name, and then we went to HostGator in the second part and set up a hosting account. So with those two things done, this is the next step. First thing we need to do is go ahead and get our domain name pointed at our server. So when someone comes across our domain, either type it in directly, refer to, or through search engines, uh, they'll be able to find the files. So we point these domain names to the server. So when someone types in the domain, it directs to the server, and the server pulls up the files for the people wanting to look. So I own the uh, website relax relaxationtips.org, and we're currently ranked number two on uh, Google search for relaxation tips, but I'm going to see if I can't make some videos and highlight some other keywords to redirect traffic to my relaxationtips.org site to get some more uh, AdSense money. So uh, I went ahead and registered two um, misspelled videos in one and uh, spelled right in the other one. And we're going to go ahead and point this domain over to our uh, HostGator. So first thing you're going to do is go ahead and click on this relaxation tips and I'll be right back. Okay, I just had to pull that calculator up to cover up my name servers. Um, so for this domain, we need to go ahead and uh, register it to the new name server to make sure it points at HostGator. So you come up here, you go ahead and click on name server. So I'm going to pause it again. <laughs> well, that didn't work quite as planned, but anyway. So you go ahead and um, you're going to see these name servers here. and You're going to have the domain ones that GoDaddy provides. So they park it that way if anyone clicks on your domain, it'll go to their little site uh, where they direct people to try to get money. I don't know what they do. But anyway, the point is you need to go ahead and go to name server one and name server two. In your email you receive from HostGator, you got two name servers. You start with NS, and then there's a dot, and then there should be three numbers, and then say HostGator. So what you're going to do is go to that email, copy and paste those two name servers in. So you're in your email, you come over here, and it's going to look something like that. The NS dot three numbers, and then HostGator.com, HostGator.com. Once you've gone ahead and updated those, just come over here and click OK. Now this is going to take 12 to 48 hours uh, to go ahead and have it updated. So don't really worry about it, but um, just go ahead and get them pointed. And then I'm going to go ahead and pause it and get over to HostGator and we're going to show you what to do next. But anyway, all you do is hit OK and then log out. All right. So go to your email, insert your HostGator account name servers, get it off the GoDaddy name servers, plug it in there and there, and you're good to go. All right, so we're back. So now that you have those domain names pointed to your new server, you need to log into your server. So my server is uh, relaxationtips.org backslash cpanel. So you'll go ahead and see that up right here. So just go ahead and you register that domain name uh, when you set up your HostGator account. So just go ahead and put it to the domain name you set up backslash cpanel. And then this screen will pop up right over here. Then you're going to type in your username that you set up. And then you're going to type in your password that you set up yesterday. And we're going to go ahead and go to the next thing. So it's going to pull you up to right here. So you're going to have all these different options to do. Um, but the next thing we're going to do is just come over here and keep dropping down way to the bottom and we're looking for this right here, Fantastico de Deluxe. I thought you had to do this manually and finally I uh, read it and found out about this plugin and it's the most beautiful thing ever. So now that we're here, we're coming right over here to WordPress and then we're going to see short description, blah blah blah. So, so far I have that other one done, I have my one man's goal here, then we're going to do new installation. Okay. So one thing I have to do is go ahead and add my new domain name. For you, you should only have the one domain name on here, so you don't have to worry about it. So you pull up the one domain name you registered, but i got to go ahead and set up my other domain uh, to make sure it will work, and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Um, eventually, I'm going to have to make a video showing you how to go ahead and add additional domain names onto your HostGator account. But for right now, we're just going to keep it simple. You should only have one domain name. But the cool thing about HostGator, if you sign up for the baby plan, is the fact that you can have multiple domain names. So I have multiple websites on this one server, and it just makes it real convenient. Uh, there's just two steps you need to go ahead and add a new, um, a new domain name on. But anyway, I've went ahead and done it. So we're going to come down here and find relaxationtipsvideos.com. That's going to be for install and directory. Just go ahead and leave that blank. And then down here, you're going to go ahead and have to put in your... Uh, I'm going to change this later, but for now, I'll just go ahead and add this on right. Okay, I need to make the new password. So let's go pause it so you can't see it. Okay, went ahead and switch that up. So your admin nickname, I'll just put it as my name, or let's do, so I'm just going to go cash flow. And then my 
do. Um, go at gmail.com. Site name is going to be Relaxation Tips Videos. And same thing for description. Those two boxes really aren't that important. Just go ahead and type in whatever you want to put there. You know, you can get real technical with all this stuff, but I don't think it's real necessary. And then just come down here, just put in test, test, and test. And install WordPress. So it goes ahead and creates a MySQL database for you. It just goes ahead and gets everything all set up. It's most beautiful. This is why I love HostGator. Plus, our support staff is amazing. Uh, so go ahead. And then go ahead and send an email of this to yourself. Just to make sure everything's working right for you, then go to one man's goal dot com and Gmail. Send email. Email sent. Now let's see how we did. If we did it correctly, this should come up right here. So we're gonna come to relaxation tips videos dot com. Get our WordPress blog. Bam. See how easy this stuff is? Not too hard at all. I realize I'm not the best teacher and I stutter a little bit, but guess what? I'll watch it through. That's all you need to do. So next time, we're going to go ahead and log into our, our our new WordPress blog and probably go ahead and just show you around the back end. And in a couple more videos, we're going to go ahead and talk about making videos and then inserting them into the blog. I hope you enjoyed this post today. I know it's not the most professional ever, but I think it does get the job done and teaches you what you need to know. So thanks a lot.